Hello, my name is Jose Carlos Gutierrez. I am president of Comics 35 Next Gen. I'm so happy to be here with you in Christian Comics Connection. And I'm going to talk to you about upcoming events and activities that we have for this year. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization that produces uh, those consultation and training in Christian Comics worldwide. We are uh, continuing with uh, the amazing work that Comics 35 has been doing for the past 23 years from 1996 to 2018. So without further ado, let's start talking about comics. This project tracks made by inmates in the United States of America about uh, conversion stories of uh, inmates that met God uh, in jail. We're going to keep doing it for prisons in USA and uh, start doing it in Mexico. Also, we want to keep working with uh, different magazines worldwide. In Mexico, we have a Prisma magazine that is one of the pioneers of visual Christian storytelling. They started in the 60s with what we call photo novelas, that it's uh, uh, comics made with photographs. This is a, a magazine with uh, Christian content for all the family. And they have been really open in uh, publishing Christian comics and in uh, training seminars. We have uh, done in the past different uh, training seminars in uh, Milamex, that is uh, the publishing uh, house of uh, Prisma magazine. Now Prisma has gone fully digital and that we can publish fully in color. That's great news. Now Prisma has gone into different uh, kind of readers. They are targeting men, women, youth separately. So there's a lot of opportunities for Christian comics for these audiences. Speaking about magazines, we have the Mazi magazine from Kenya. This is a wonderful publication targeted for high schoolers in Kenya. You can see great design and great content. And uh, we uh, and they have uh, published Christian comics in the past. And uh, speaking of Africa, but now in the French-speaking Africa, we have Eclat d'Afrique or uh, Shines from Africa. This publication has been made in a partnership with PGA, that is uh, Publication pour la Jeunesse Africaine or a Publication for African Youth featuring a lot of uh, uh, French-speaking authors and artists. So uh, this year we want to publish uh, issue number five. And uh, finally, maybe you are familiar with uh, this publication. This was the first International Christian Comics Competition book from 2005. Uh, this uh, competition features works and well and entries entries from a lot of countries like uh, Nigeria, Israel, Russia, Estonia, um, Mexico, uh, Japan, India, and different states from the United States, such as. New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, Texas, California, Florida. We have here uh, the authors and their their bios, their but uh, well their profiles, <laughs> and amazing work. These uh, competitions, because uh, the first one was in two thousand and five. The second one was published. Oh well, was ho hosted in 2007 and had uh, both amateur and professional categories. And this was a great platform for artists to get connected with uh, publishing houses, magazines, ministries. This is how I uh, met Comics 35 in 2005. And then the second one was uh, published in 2007. Uh, in that same year, Comics 35 partnered 
with Melamax, and they hosted the first uh, Christian comics in Spanish competition. We're launching this year the third international Christian comics competition, not only to be published in a printed book, but also in a digital version. These competitions have served, as, as I told you before, for artists to get connected with uh, publishing houses, such as the case of the Action Bible, that has been one of the best selling uh, illustrated comics Bible for many years now. So if you want to know more about our activities, uh, please go to www.comics35.org and uh, and get in touch with us. And if you uh, uh, want a partnership with us, uh, with any donation, we really appreciate it because as you, there is much need of Christian comics worldwide and we need uh, artists, producers, web developers, and we would like to hear from you. Thank you very much for being here in Christian Comics Connection. See you later. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Hasta la próxima. Merci. A la prochaine. Hi, my name is Ivan. Hi, my name is Manuel. Hi, I'm Ernesto. Hi, my name is Sofia. Hi, my name is Andrea and we are Mercy Way Studios. We make Christian comics. We believe the alternative media like comics and other formats are one of the most important tools to share the good news and the word of God in this time. The first project was Fear Not, a comic book made in collaboration with Bible Society of El Salvador. It was a 12 issues run and was finished in 2019. This story was a very personal one for me. It's focused on how to deal with fear. The initial idea was born, imagine a boy surrounded with all his fears. And how everything changed in the moment when Jesus gave and said, fear not. From that moment, in the entire series, we talked about loneliness, about bullying, and one of the big subjects is faith. In fact, Sama, who is the main character, of this story as a shield, a real shield of faith that actually grows when he trusts Jesus and shrink when he has doubt. And when he read the scripture, he made his shield really strong. So this is for not. From now, I'm going to let the rest of the team speak about what are the next project for Mercy Base. To Kingdoms is one of the projects we're planning to develop is the story about three brothers that arrived to the city of Hebo, which was the biggest metropolis in the world at that point. It was technologically advanced with the skyscrapers and sophisticated society. Hebo was the pinnacle of human achievement. They had everything but fear of God. So these three Christian brothers came to the city and immediately they called the attention of the prosecutors, which were like the secret police that were tasked to keep the ideology of the government of the city. That is an entity called Bennett. In the city, there was an inn, Bethel Inn, a place where only honey and milk was served and is owned by a very kind and wise man, who curiously enough had marks on the palm of his hands. Two kingdoms represent the contrast of living in a world blind by bending and being the light by preaching the word of God and being testimony of what God can do with a committed heart. We believe that faith comes by reading and knowing what the Bible says. In these days, lots of kids don't have the desire of reading the Bible, but probably a comic can convince them on doing it. Lots of them identify today with Spider-Man or any other superhero, but why not dreaming of a generation who feels identified with David, Joshua, and the greatest hero of all time, Jesus. Talking with the team about the Book of Chronicles, it occurred to us to try to repeat the impact that this book had in the people of Israel. It was created to give back the faith to the ones who had lived in exile and didn't know God. Also to retell the stories of the past to assure the faith of the future generation. That's how Chronicles of Faith came alive, taking the heroes of faith, 
Joshua, the judges like Gideon or Samson, David, even the same Elijah, men who weren't perfect but they trusted God in every moment. If you want to know more about this project, stay tuned on our social media and check out our website. Hello everyone, how you doing? I am the CEO of Risen Vision Comics, Daniel Johnson, and I am here today to just explain a little bit about my business and what it is. First and foremost, I want to thank Christian Comics Connections for giving me this opportunity to explain and explore my business because it's all about giving God the glory. That's first and foremost, Risen Vision Comics, created from Daniel Johnson and from the mind, was brought to me given from the mind of God. You know, to start this business and to bless the young youth because that's what it's all about. It's about the youth. You know, so uh, Risen Vision Comics, it represents us sharing our vision with the world while giving God the glory. At the end of the day, you know, it's all about, you know, giving God the glory because Christ is on his way back. You know, so we want to be able to, you know, spread the message uh, as many ways as possible. And God put this on my heart as a unique way to um, go out into the world, you know, and spread this message. Um... I just want to get in a little bit into it. Um, today, um, we're working on Risen Vision as a whole is working on our first book, and the first book is out. We are working on getting it out there more nationwide into the audience. Saint Chapter 1, Issue 1 uh, is, is the first book of a three-part uh, series about a young man who gets his power from God. You know, and uh, basically he just lost his mother and he has an encounter with God after kind of going through depression and going down. And now realize that he has a calling on his life to do something greater. And he finds out that losing his mother was way more important than he thought. All the while, while, um, you know, trying to stop this powerful weapon that is in the hands of the, the, former, the former hero known as the first saint. You know, so um, we're going to get in a little bit about that. Um, chapter 1, issue 1, like I said, it's the first book of a three-part series. Issue 2 is going to be out in a few weeks of January. So y'all stay tuned for that. And also, if you're in the state of Louisiana, it's going to be in Lafayette Comic Con. Again, Lafayette Comic Con is where it's going to be. Give everybody a little taste, the idea of what 
the character is and who he represents. So first and foremost, I want to show you all my book. St. God's Warrior, Chapter 1, Issue 1. As you see, he has the armor of God on. And that's basically what it is, the armor of God. A lot of people may ask, well, what is the armor of God? The armor of God is basically the word of God. You know, so the word of God, um, you know, um, it's, it's what you carry for you in your everyday life. The word of God, you know, uh, as us as Christians know that the word of God should be carried in your spirit. The word of God is the, is the Bible that we have. We study it daily. We should study it daily. You know, because when we study it daily, we will see, um, you know, you know, we will see great success and great blessings and great approval in our life. You know, requested by God and approved from God because we're giving him time. That goes back to the scripture, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. So when you practice and preach that the word of God, you know, uh, you know, uh, lives inside of you, you know, you carry all these things so that way when the enemy comes against you, the arm of God is on. What perform against you shall prosper. And that is the symbolic meaning. It's like a figure of speech basically saying. You know, it's like I say, he has all the bases of, you know, the scriptures that talk about the arm of God, the shield of faith, the, uh, the helm of salvation. You see the, um, the chest, the breastplate of righteousness, excuse me, the shoes of peace, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit. Um, basically just giving, you know, that, uh, that detail into the book. And... When I do my book, all my books are always going to have at least two scriptures in it. And two scriptures reads, uh, in, in chapter 1, issue 1, I wanted to start both scriptures out by just saying, I read it here, Zechariah 3, verse 7, and it's usually based on each book that I have. So this one says, Thus says the Lord of hosts, If you will walk in my ways and keep my charge, then you shall rule my house and have charge of my courts, and I will give you the right of access among those who are standing here. That's the first scripture. And the second scripture says, Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not of evil or not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. So basically, that's basically symbolically even saying for the business, risen vision, you know, that God has had a great plan to bring forth this business. Only he's seen it's coming out to be and I know it's going to be greatly used towards, you know, to help his people grow. I just wanted to, um, you know, just carry this vision out. God has put so much vision in me. It don't even stop there. You know, this is just, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, this is just the first book of a three-part issue. Issue two, again, is coming out this month. Uh, so look forward to it. I'll definitely keep you updated. Um, also, um, you know, issue three is going to be out. should be out next year, but stay tuned for that. You know, that's, that's to be determined right now, but the goal is next year. So, um, yeah, that's what it's all about. You can get the book at risenvision.org. That's the website. Again, the website is risenvision.org. And also, you can go to Facebook and check us out at Risen Vision Comics Thoughts of Light. Again, that's Risen Vision Comics Thoughts of Light. Um, you know, you can um, just go in there and check out. Also, you, we have the updated storyline for issue two on the page, risenvision.org. So you can see it. Also, as you see, we also have a pair. I have the St. Gauls Warrior. This is the beanies. We have them in different colors. Um, this is the Risen Vision shirt. As you see, risen vision, sharing our vision for the world by giving God the glory. Excuse me, you know. Um, so we have some some gear also to go with it, you know. And uh, like I say, you know, we uh, we just out here trying to spread God's word. You know, we out here trying to get the word out, especially for the young people because they're the future, you know, and that's who the enemy is going after. So we want to be able to, you know, um, be a blessing to the kids out there. However, we can be, you know, because it's all about God. It's not about self. It's not about me. It's not about my crew. And uh, I want to thank the Risen Vision crew, um, my Vice President Joshua Washington and my administrator, um, uh, Zakaria Payton. And they've been very, very helpful. And thank I really thank them. And I'm, I'm blessed to have them in my corner to help me with this book. You know, um, again, man, it's just a blessing to have this opportunity to be able to spread and share the word of God in many different forms. And this is a unique way of sharing the word of God in this particular form, I know. You know, um, I know there's other Christian comic books out there, and like I say, you know, that's my message, and I want to even thank all my other Christian comic book creators out there with that mindset, you, you know, God put it in your mind, man, you know, and we have work to do out here in this world, you know, it's how we have evangelizing, you know, this is called the work of the church, you know, like I say, you know, um, you know, this is just, you know, it, it, it feels good, you know, to bring people to the kingdom, you know, even at the end of the book, you know, in the back of the book, you kind of get issue two. But at the end of the book, at each, at the end of every one of my books, I want to give everybody, I always want to give everybody a chance, you know, to, um, 
just have an idea. You know, this is my personal quotes and, you know, my personal advice and opinions on people. To just give them a word of encouragement, you know, because the storyline basis all with it. So basically in the end, the end of, the, of the book, I'm not going to spoil it, but basically I am just saying, you know, that, um, you know, that everything that Derek went through. You know, um, you know, a lot of people can relate with that, not just with losing their mother, but maybe losing somebody in a family, you know, and, you know, uh, that's what the story touches on, you know, somebody, you know, who, um, you know, God may, you know, you may be like, God, why I lost this person, why I lost that person, God may be saying, no, it was for purpose, you know, things happen for a reason, you got to trust God in a situation, you come to find out at the end of the day, you be thinking it's all bad, and you look back, and you look back, <laughs> After realizing that God has something much greater and much powerful for you, and you seen that it was for your good and not for bad, you know. So what you thought was bad, God turned it out for good, you know. So again, issue two. I mean, excuse me, issue one. I apologize. I have a lot of good books here. The beginning of the book is giving a little story on the the weapon I was talking about a little bit at the beginning of the story. Brandon Falloy, the main bad guy. Luke Rat, who is Derek Penn's um, master. You know, um, he's basically going to be training him. Um, j Rath, his brother, you know, who protected the Sayasaur for centuries. Both Luke and j Rath protected the Sayasaur for centuries. You know, they're the ones, you know, who are kind of going to be right at the centerpiece of the story. They are like the mentors of Derek Penn, you know, and they're going to help him find his powers. Just like I said, you got a lot of great scenes in here. And I don't want to spoil it because you might go pick up <laughs> right away, but... You know, that's just a few scenes flashed into the book. Again, I want to thank Christian Comics Connection for giving me the opportunity to uh, come out here and, you know, just um, be able to, again, spread the word of God and, you know, um, just get this message out, you know, and let y'all know, man, Jesus got it. God got it. You know, if you have some of your spirit, man, and it may sound unique, man, and it sound unique, it's because God put it there. You know, get out and fulfill it. Fulfill it destiny because we are, are, we are in the last days, you know, and in the last days, God are going to use his people you know, to bring out more people so they can be saved in this world, you know, so however many times this book can get out here, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely blessed again to have the opportunity to share this, and I want y'all to stay tuned uh, after chapter one, there's many other books coming, I have an entire RV universe, you know, um, kind of like, you know, an Avengers type team coming forward, but I want to introduce each character separately first, so um, like I said, if you get out, get the chance to read St. God's Warrior issue one, you know, please do your part. I appreciate it. I would thank you, and I'd be highly thankful and highly blessed. You know, to um, to you know, to just have the opportunity for me to share my story with you. You know, um, so that you can you know uh, be blessed. You know, and, and look forward to the future. You know, uh, for more. Yeah, I say you know, there's a lot more coming. The RV universe is what I call it. This is going to be an RV universe with all the other characters coming soon. So y'all stay out, stay tuned for that. But I just want to thank y'all, man. Um, y'all be blessed. Y'all have a happy new year, man. 2020 is the year of greatness. And also, one more thing. I also have an animation coming out. A small one-minute animation, you know, for uh, for Saint. You know, this is going to be him, you know, doing some fight scenes or whatever. So, y'all stay tuned for that. Again, you can find on risenvision.org. And also follow us on Risen Vision Comics Thoughts of Light on Facebook. That's where we are most active. Like and follow us, man. And we're going to definitely keep you updated. Y'all have a blessed one. Thank you. 